On February 14th, 2018, was a day that would change the lives of thousands of people forever. 17 people lost their lives, mostly students, when an armed gunman entered Stoneman Douglas High School, becoming the worst mass shooting the U.S. had seen at the time. Among those lost, 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver. He died in a creative writing class, a place where he found friends, something he loved doing was writing. Uh, and this story builds upon his love and laughter and learning. I want to see you got early guitar play. Everyone, play your early That is Joaquin's father, a uh, father who has undying love for his, his uh, son. And uh, right now we're uh, joined by uh, Joaquin's father. Uh, and, and what is the name of your project? It's Walk My Son, My Hero. All right, uh, Manuel Oliver is joining us now. And, and first of all, I, I was asking you because no parent can, can ever get over something like this. Well, I don't think so. I haven't met the first one, no. And, and the mission you're on right now, and, and other parents and, and other kids from, from, uh, from, from uh, Stoneman are, are doing kind of a similar thing. Not a similar thing to you, but we, I mean, th th their lives have been changed and, and, and they are working toward a goal. We're all responding, okay? And that's the right thing to do as a parent. Um, and we are finding different ways. What we are doing, it's what we did before Joaquin was murdered, which is using art as, as a connection, um, as a new way of fighting this epidemic. I see a lot of things that happened here before Joaquin was murdered. The reality in the United States is that this is a problem, and it's not a new problem. It's been there for a while. So using the same things to try to solve a problem that has been there for a while is something that my wife and myself won't do. We, we don't think it's going to work. And this has become such a controversial, emotional issue. And I was asking you when we first sat down, how did you feel about, about guns, gun control, things like that, the day before the shooting, and how were you changed the day after? The day before a shooting, the day before you lose your kid, you are not involved. You don't know those numbers. And that's a mistake. Uh, because probably I wouldn't be able to change things if, if I will be involved. Now, after this conversation, you're going to be involved. And you probably tomorrow or later on today start doing things to make sure that your three kids and any other kid out there is safe. Well, what would you like to see done in this country to change things? I think there's a lot of change um, coming. It's not things that I wish will happen. It's things that I know will happen. It's a matter of waiting because there's a new America emerging. The, the youth are not happy with this gun culture. And we, we saw that. You, you saw that happening and I see it happening every single day. Uh, what, what I do now is to support the only group that I believe will change things in America. And I'm sure because it's their future. No one is going to play with their future. They are mature enough, smart enough to make their own decisions. And let me tell you, gun culture is not in their list. And, and you don't want to take people's guns away. You, you, want, to, you want to have some, some just logical legislation. I passed. can't take people's guns away. I, I, no, I don't. I think that um, having uh, assault weapons uh, capable of killing as many people as possible in less amount of time, like an AR-15, shouldn't be in the hands of anyone. And, and let's talk about the project you're doing right now. T t tell me a bit about it. We did a lot of art for the first year. Uh, I'm an artist myself. We did murals in different cities. We travel a lot. And um, you're, you're, you're documenting your travels, too. We do. We do document everything, yes. And, and so what are we seeing here? Well, you see here our last project, which is a theater piece. It's called Walk My Son, My Hero. And, and it's, a, it's a roller coaster of emotions. That's the reason why we're here in New Orleans, and because we're going to show it tonight in the House of Blues. And, and it's an amazing um, way of uh, explaining what happened, how it happened, uh, the life of my son Joaquin. That was a very happy life. Uh, and also, what can we do to stop this from happening? And, and you get a lot of support when you go places, but you get a lot of backlash, too. Well, I do. I get more support, but there's always someone that is not agreeing with me that might send me a nasty message, a nasty email, and I'm okay with that. Are, are you surprised by that, considering what you've been through? I'm not. Listen, my wife told me after we lost Joaquin, uh, you know what? 
we lost fear and, and, and risk today. So there's probably nothing that makes me feel afraid. I'm protected by my son and I protect his legacy. We work together on that. Well, we can't t tell you how enough, enough how, how sorry we are for your loss. I mean, it's, it's, un you. it's unimaginable for a parent. Thank you very much. Uh, so tonight, House of Blues, uh, we're going to know Joaquin better. We want a lot of kids in there because those are the ones that are making the big changes. They're the future. They're the ones who are doing. Walk My Son, My Hero, is tonight at the House of Blues at 6.30. It goes on till 10.30. Tickets are $37 to get in with $5 for students in honor of Joaquin. We have a link to their, uh, to, uh, their show, their website. It's on our website, wwltv.com.